This is my old account, Nibskate2. Recently, he's been filming my series, Escape Free to Play. However, it's time to escape. We've got ourselves a bond, and now it's time for the big leap onto membership. In this series, we're going to look at different members' money makers, each episode focusing on a different one and working out just how long it will take to maintain the bond doing this method. Welcome to my new series, Avoiding Free to Play. Welcome back to episode 5 of our series and we're looking quite nice, we've got a nice cash stack here. And what I will be doing this episode is, and what I will be doing probably every episode, is doing a couple dailies as well because this is something that's going to help you massively make some money because you don't really need that much cash but obviously with the Baroque Diaries done you can actually claim some battle staffs. So we've actually got the medium diary done for the Varrock only costs us 210k coins and with that we can sell them in the GE for a lot more. There we go, we sold them for 248k so it's quite a nice little cash stack and considering it literally takes 5 minutes and you can do it every day, we might as well add it into our into our sort of routine and it's just going to help ever so slightly build our cash stack. But back into the main thing of the video, today we are going to be charging air orbs this is honestly something that i've not even done myself so i'm i'm interested to see exactly how much money we can make and see what sort of xp rates we get as well because i do need to start working on my magic level as well so this would be a good one to just see how much xp you can get from this but first things first let's jump straight into the requirements so for the requirements the only actual requirement you need to do this is 66 magic which is relatively high it's not too bad though, I mean getting the 55 isn't that bad and then you could pretty much just high out your way to 66 if you wanted to and it's definitely 100% worth it. For the recommended stats, I'd highly recommend a high agility level, that would help you out a little bit with the running, also having some weight reducing armour would help out quite a bit. Other than that, having a little bit of a cash stack would also help, you need roughly about 260k to do this for an hour. And other than that, that's pretty much it. So let's jump straight back into it. So first things first, we are going to buy our supplies. So we're going to need to buy some cosmic runes. I think it's going to be roughly about 1,500 cosmic runes for the full hour. So we'll buy them now. So these are relatively expensive and this is probably where most of the cash is going to go. But it's definitely going to be worth it. We are going to make some... Oh wow, we've actually got a lot of money back from all that which is awesome, but we'll also buy ourselves some unpowered orbs. We're going to need roughly around about 500 of these, and that should see us for the full hour, and we insta-brought them too. We will also need to buy ourselves an air staff. Just a simple staff of air is more than enough, and that is relatively cheap. If it doesn't buy here, you can just buy it from Zaf himself. Actually, I can't be bothered to go there, so we'll probably just overpay for it. Other than that, you might just need a couple stamina potions. I think I have some stamina potions left over from a previous episode where I didn't need them. So I will just check, get them out now. I think 12, probably going to be more than enough. So we'll withdraw all of them. I always use my stamina potions in one doses. This makes it easier to use it in the bank. If you incorporate that with the insta smashing, which I get, I think you get unlocked that from doing the... Uh, bar crawl uh, by the barbarian outpost with that you automatically smash the vials so it makes it a lot faster drinking this one dose stamina potion and with this we're also going to need some glory amulet so we'll just buy some six charges of them and we'll buy i think around about six should be probably more than enough so we'll just insta buy them and we can obviously sell these back when we've used them to their full capacity we're going to make a small loss on them but it's not that much. So now we're going to want to sort out our bank ready for this. So before we get into this, it is very important to note that we will be going within the wildy. So only take what you're willing to lose. For the location, most of this is within Edgeville and Edgeville's dungeon. So we're going to be teleporting using our glory. We then just go a little bit south to the dungeon. We then make our way through the dungeon until you get to the wildy bit. When you go through that gate, you just want to make your way to the air outworld. We'll be doing a full run through in a second. We're going to want any sort of weight reducing armor, obviously our glory and our staff of air to use. 
In our inventory, we're going to want to withdraw 81 cosmic runes. That's enough to do a full 27 unpowered orbs. If you take any more than this, you can. However, you are risking getting killed in a wieldy and losing all your cosmic runes. You basically want to minimise that as much as possible. You can have it automatically set at 81, so it does make it quite easy to withdraw. And then you just want unpowered orbs. Next, all we do is run down south until you see the dungeon entrance. You just want to go down here. So once you're in the dungeon, you just want to keep running north. Keep running north until you see a gate. When you get to the gate, you want to follow this path east. And then when you get to this area here with the gate, you want to go north again through the gate, like so. And then you just want to carefully travel past these thugs and obviously the Chaos Druids, making your way as far north as possible cross through here like so and then you want to go north here and then be careful of these black demons they will attack you like so so you're going to want to be careful of that you then want to climb up this north ladder here and then you all you want to do is cast charge air orb on the obelisk of air and then select all and then you're done we're going to now start the uh timer one hour timer and I'll see you in, we'll probably see you in about 30 minutes time, tie in with how it's going. And uh, then obviously we'll see you at the hour, do our full price check and work out just how much money we made. When you get a full inventory like this, you then want to be careful of PKers like this guy who stood under me. But then we're, all we're going to do is right click the Amulet of Glory, teleport to Edgeville and then we bank and do it all over again. And it's pretty much as simple as that. Every now and again, you might have to sip a stamina potion, maybe eat a little bit of food. But then again, you should be all right. If you have protection prayers, obviously you can pray as well, which is obviously going to help. But we're just going to withdraw this now and carry on. So we are halfway through now. And honestly, it's pretty chill. I mean, you don't really have to worry too much about PKs. Even if you did die, you're not really going to lose a lot of money. I think it's about 15k total lost not too bad the xp rates the xp rates have actually shocked me we're getting about 40k an hour xp in magic which is pretty decent considering we're going to be making a relatively decent profit as well i honestly can't complain but yeah so far pretty good afk and uh yeah i'm looking forward to seeing the hour and doing our final price check so i'll see you then so we actually ran out of orbs and cosmic runes, so we're coming quickly to the uh, GE. I've stopped the timer while we do this, but we're going to pick up a couple more uh, orbs. And we'll just pick up another 200 of them, should be fine. And then we'll also pick up some more cosmic runes. Another 600 of them, and that should be fine. So uh, yeah, we'll collect them. What we can do at the end is work out the exact cost of how many air orbs I made in this hour. And we'll be able to work out all the costs and stuff from that. So it's not too bad. It looks like this last run might come to absolutely nothing because um, eight seconds, I don't think we're going to be able to get many orbs done. And it looks like we're about to run out of run energy as well, just as we get there, which is definitely not fun. But there goes the one hour timer. Didn't quite get another one in, but we'll tally out of here. Okay, so I've just worked out the costs. We're now going to sell our air orbs and work out exactly how much money we made. So these are saying they're actively selling for... 1035. I'll put them in for 1034. Hopefully, they insta sell so we can work this out pretty soon. Uh, they're selling relatively fast. I'll hang around for a little bit and we'll see what happens. And there we go. Literally, eight seconds it took to sell all of them. Not too bad at all. And that is a very, very nice cash stack there considering how much the costs were. So, what we're going to do is chuck it all into the price checker, like so. And then we're going to minus out our costs so our costs came to 258,140 gp so our total profit for one hour was 300k which is actually very very good the xp rates as well were very very good we're getting 40k xp in magic as well and making this much profit this is actually a really, really good money maker, and, and honestly, it surprised me a little bit, to be fair. But yeah, I was very, very impressed with that. 
but now we'll go into a little review of the whole process. So for the review, first things first, as always, we're gonna go over the profit per hour, and the profit per hour was 300,700 GP, which actually is very, very good, considering we're also getting 40K in Magic XP as well per hour. Now have a little look at the AFK rating. We're gonna to have to give this a seven out of 10, because quite honestly, it was pretty AFK. When you get there, it takes quite a while to go through all of the orbs. The only sort of thing you've got to keep a little while out for is obviously PK, as it is the wieldy at the end of the day, but overall it was pretty AFK. The current bond price stands at 5 million GP. It's not too bad, it's, it is expensive. If you were to do this method solely, it would take around about 16 and a half hours, which actually isn't that long. And you're gonna be getting some quite good XP along the way, obviously, if you would actually end up getting around about 660,000 XP over the course of this time, if you were doing this method solely to get that bond. And that's quite a lot of XP. Overall, I definitely highly recommend this. It's pretty low risk, there's not that much chance of you dying in the wieldy, and you ain't gonna be risking that much, and to be honest, it's a pretty decent money maker. But yeah, this pretty much wraps up the review, so uh, yeah, let's jump back. So there we go, we've ended episode five, and we've got a very, very healthy cash stack now. Hopefully you enjoyed the video, if you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It helps out the channel massively, helps us get in the algorithm, and helps more people see the video. And to say thanks for all the support, I'm also going to be doing a Bond giveaway. So all you have to do to enter this giveaway is like the video, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment with your RuneScape name. Obviously, I'll be able to find you from that and give you your Bond. But yeah, as always, I'll see you next time. Peace out.